Here's the thing, my guys. I don't know a single person who has found the unquestionably greatest keybinds possible, and I don't think it exists. If it did, you wouldn't need the video because you'd be using the exact same binds as everyone else. Instead, what I'm going to do is take you through how to pick binds that are comfortable and won't limit your skill growth long term. The advice I'm giving you is literally everything I know, and I've packed it all into a short video so you can leave here with hopefully everything you need. These are the rules to serve as guidance for most people, so if you think you need personal advice, then be sure to leave a comment below or reply to anyone who needs help. So let's get right into it. First important point that underpins everything is to consider finger loading, or what actions are mapped to which keys and which fingers you're using to play. Fortnite is an extremely mechanical game and you are performing many input actions in a short stretch of time. Because of this, you need to load or assign your keys in a way that sees important actions spread out between your fingers. What you're seeing on screen now is a map of the keys that I can press with each of my fingers. As a quick note, if you've just switched from controller, you need to play a few games so you can just learn which keys you can press with what fingers. Everything will be uncomfortable at first because you have no muscle memory, so don't get disheartened or think that you can't do something because your hands are too small or similar. What's much more important than having the perfect binds is avoiding overloading any of your fingers by giving them too much to do. So the rest of this video is going to be teaching you how to do that, starting from the most important down to the least, and we're going to begin with building and editing. Here my advice is simple. When it comes to editing, F or E are the best keys. I know some people use other fingers to edit, but I don't know, to me the index finger is just superior. Your middle finger is always on W anyway, and it's the next strongest, which is why I think it's the most reliable. If you're on keyboard and mouse, you just need scroll wheel reset. I've got to admit, I completely messed this up when I started using it, and it's easy to get wrong without realizing. The way you set this up properly is to set your scroll as a second option for building edit and then either the first or second option for reset building edit. To check you've got this correct, you should be resetting by scrolling two clicks down. If you're scrolling, having to press F, you've got it set up wrong. And finally, I'd recommend keeping rotate build piece away from your build keys because you will hit this accidentally a lot. You can unbind it completely, but I like mine to use sometimes, so I move mine to my thumb on V because I don't use my thumb to build, so I have to deliberately press it when I need it. Fortnite is building, so we're going to follow some basic rules to get the best build binds possible. Number one, assign a maximum of no more than two builds per finger. This allows you to build using all pieces near instantaneously, and it's why I have my wall and ramp on mouse 4 and 5, my floor on Q, and cone on E. The only build piece that you want to be sharing with editing is cone. This is because when you're tunneling, you don't want to have to keep moving your fingers between the edit and build binds, which I find makes you much more likely to get caught on difficult edits. You never really tunnel with cones, so this isn't a big problem. If you do have a mouse with side buttons, the reason why I'd recommend you use them for ramp and wall is because it means you always have your thumb resting ready to place builds down if you get shot at unexpectedly, and rather than having to move to press something, you're always there ready. It's also extremely useful for cracking open someone's box with a Mongol classic edit as your keyboard hand is free to select pickaxe, shotgun and be strafing, so it means you've got the load spread out between your hands a bit more. Finally, because some people have been asking me about this, if you don't have any side buttons then don't worry, I would recommend a setup using Q, E, Shift and C which you would hit with your thumb and you can choose whatever builds you would like with that. When it comes to your slot binds, the most important keys are for your shotgun, AR and power weapon, so that would be an SMG, an RPG or similar. So three of your shots need to be extremely close access, which is why I like to leave mine as two, three and four, and then I have my pickaxe as number one. Don't be concerned about your last two slots because most likely they're going to be your heals and you don't need to grab these as fast as you do with something like a shotgun. So I keep mine on Z and X, still close, but maybe not as easy to reach as the numbers are. You want to prioritize building and editing, so set those first and then use other remaining keys around for your weapon slots. The last section, I want to cover a few quick pointers that don't really fit in their own overall section, so you can check these off and know you're good. I got asked this loads in my last video and I thought it was clear, but I have two interaction keys, so let me explain this. Firstly, most of the time I'm using scroll wheel to pick things up, so I use this to spam pickup in a 50-50 situation, and also just to clean up loot a bit quicker, but I use C for getting in and out of vehicles. For crouch, I recommend shift or control. 
I don't really recommend using a bind like C because you want to be able to spam crouch and space to shoot people while avoiding as much damage as possible. I personally prefer shift but if you're using that for a build then control also works just fine. Finally a few quick final points. I recommend you keep your menus like emotes and map on your thumb. I have my map set as the default to M and emote to B for the same reason I talked about rotating build pieces. This just stops you from hitting a menu by mistake and being stuck in the middle of a fight. And make sure to bind auto run to a key that you can hit easily. I have mine as N because this is literally the most useful feature in the game. So that's everything I've got for you today. I really hope this helped you and answered your concerns or questions. And if you're looking for any more in-depth advice, be sure to join my Discord at the link below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more tutorials and guides. Have a great day and goodbye.